tigers to jaguars, but still in a kind of jungle. Springing back into the world's racing circuits is a lithe newcomer with exciting possibilities, the 5.3-litre Jag. The announcement by Leylands that the Jaguar is back in contention after a 20-year avoidance of the racing circuits has come as pleasurable surprise to car racing enthusiasts. And who can deny the big cat is a beauty? Based on the standard Jaguar V12 engined XJ Coupe, the newcomer is £20,000 worth of power. The quarter million pounds it will cost to race has the nod of approval from high government heads. Driver Derek Bell demonstrates the interior. Jaguar's successes in the 50s and 60s were legendary. Le Mans, 1953. The C-Type Jag number 18, which won that year hands down. Now, more than 20 years later, the XJ 5.3 throws down a challenge. The colours of the livery show that the Jaguar's return to racing is very much a patriotic one. Fair warning to the racing world. Here comes the big cat. The new Leyland Jaguar, Britain's biggest hope for re-entry into the top class of the European Touring Car Championship, is more than 30 hundredweight of concentrated power, nearly 600 horsepower in all. This was its first outing, the culmination of years of effort and scores of thousands of pounds. Incredibly, for a first outing, it secured pole position, beating every other car on the track, including the apparently invincible BMWs, by two seconds a lap in the pre-race heats. This tourist trophy at Silverstone is not one of the longest of the European calendar, just over 300 miles, but it is one of the more testing. For 14 laps, the new Jaguar looks superb, holding off everything. Then, disaster. The near rear-side tyre blew, and Leyland's top driver, Derek Bell, was forced to crawl nearly an entire lap to reach the pits for an incredibly fast change. But, though she roared away again, there was no way to make up four lost laps, and in the event, the drive shaft, Weakened by the earlier puncture, finally threw the whole wheel off on the 40th lap, and only superb driving prevented a major accident. The deadly BMWs went on to win, but Jaguar, with the fastest lap of the race to its credit, is convinced it has a potential winner for the European Tourist Trophy Championship when it reopens next year.